seat in proceedings. Gareth O'Brien then gets the match underway. Deep kick off from him, and uh, a nice little bit of football skill from Scott Griggs as he collected that uh, kick off with the outside of the right boot. Fed Anthony England, the big prop forward, and here we go. Could be an interesting and an entertaining half. Kyle Wood has some wonderful deception. He's looking one way, passing another. Griggs has found a hole, and Griggs will score the, the penalty. Anyway, they're 4-0 up, and Liam Finn managed to make it 6-0 if he can, and uh, Liam Finn has done exactly that. Wakefield lead by six points to nil himself. He's chasing it, and that's a great kick. That's a fabulous kick. Griggs is trapped, and they uh, forced the goal line dropout. It was as though they made that play up, Eddie, as they went on. On the fifth play, they shifted out wide. They didn't realise it was the last tackle. All of a sudden, they got a couple of offloads, but then they come up with this great kick and an excellent chase. This is your reward for all the little things. When the ball's kicked, don't just sit back and admire it. You've got to make sure that you put some pressure on football, and yet they only find themselves one score behind. Ricks gets it away to Reese Lynn, a hand in the face of one. Here goes Ben Jones Bishop. He's got support inside him from Justin Horrow. Looks like a commentator's curse, perhaps, for John Wells here because Ben Jones Bishop, no scrambling defence by Salford. Was he tackled? Well, as he was, says the referee. Liam Finn. Liam Finn to Horro, Horro looping pass into centre field. That keeps going again to Danny Kermon just on the pitch. This is scrambling defence from Salford that is out of the top draw. They've conceded the penalty. <laughs> it was nearly 12. <laughs> As it is, it's eight. Side, we have a half-time situation of Wakefield eight, Salford Red Devils. As uh, oh, can buy David, David Fafita is a big man as well. It's not till you see him and stand at the side of him. 6'3, 115, 16 kgs. Good hands, good hands, and here's a chance for Bibby. Bibby down Five. the side. Five. It's uh, Wakefield's Go. turn to scramble in defence. Oh, but they can't stop Robert Louis. That's a soft try. Miller was caught out of his position then at dummy half. Hold. Try has done wonders for the confidence of Salford, Tompkins, Robert Louis, into the arms of O'Brien, he gets it further wide to Sow, and Niall Evels is in, and the scores are level. Super try from Salford, that. Again by Robert Louis, on Ashurst. Here is Tupu, Tupu gets the ball away. It's now with Miller again. Miller to Anthony England, England... Well, maybe he thought about the return pass from Horro. Horro hung on. Reese Lynn takes on his opposite number, Junior Sow. Five tackles gone, last one coming. Kick might be important here. Hampshire gets the kick away eventually. Oh, how about that? What a try from Miller. What a kick from Hampshire. So I think Jacob Miller's going to get the green light. for his team yeah. so here we go Liam Finn then to try and add the extras which he does from not too far under Oof, why? three Both tackles great. gone the 10 meters away it's Wella Haraki again pops it up to Robert Louis Robert Louis to within three or four meters of the line still Both two left this set Haraki goes the short side oh, it is with Chris it. Wellham and Chris Wellham scores for Salford Chris Wellham scores for Salford, the kick to come to rescue a point, maybe, for the Red Devil. Kick it. Two misses. This the biggest one. Can he kick this and rescue a point? The pressure's on. He knows all about pressure. Remember his drop goal in the million-pound match a couple of seasons ago. Gareth O'Brien then for Salford. It's got a chance. Oh, it's just the wrong side of the posts. And Wakefield hold on for a win by 14 points to 12.